Hey everyone, Newman here with 910. Today we have a Crown Super Light Barrel. We're going to be going over the uh, disassembly and reassembly of the barrel itself to show you how to change out a liner or to do uh, uh, routine maintenance on the barrel. So, we're going to get this locked in the vise and then we're going to get to it. Alright, so now we have the barrel locked down in the vise and now we can go on to the first step of disassembly which is removing the shroud. Uh, keep in mind this is the super light barrel system so there's no internal barrel housing. There's only the shroud and then the liner. So taking off the shroud is the outside of the barrel. So what we're going to do here, since we have a lot down in vice, we're going to break that seal real fast. And then it's just going to unthread right off the shroud cone there. Gonna slide it right on off. Then we can set this to the side. Now we have the liner here. Uh, without the shroud on it, you can see there's no sort of muzzle or anything like that. There's just the liner, a couple spacers, and then it's locked here in the end. Different liner lengths are going to have different amount of spacers on them. Uh, for instance, the compact or uh, the 380 barrels, they only have one spacer, uh, whereas this is a 600, so it has three, and the 700 has three as well, and I believe the 500s also have three. So the next step is to remove these liner supports. They simply just slide off the front, just like that. And all it is is a Delrin disc with an O-ring. Take these set them to the side now. The next step will be removing the liner from the main housing back here, or this is called the shroud cone, and this is called the liner nut. This is a 15 millimeter, so we're going to use our 15 millimeter wrench. And the liner is held in place through O ring tension. So this liner nut, it locks onto some O rings and presses them onto the liner. It causes torque onto the liner that holds it in place. So even with this removed, it's a little difficult to get out. But now you see it. There you go. There's your O rings right here. Different calibers are going to have different size O-rings and probably also different amounts of O-rings. For instance, this is a 625 and it has seven O-rings on it. But we can go ahead and slide that right on off. And you can see here the nut doesn't want to go forward because that label, so you're going to want to pull everything off the end if you want to pull it off. But for general purposes, you normally don't have to take these off for any reason, so it's best to just leave them on where they are, because that way you know your barrel will line back up correctly. If you do have these off, or these do move, whenever you re uh, put it back into the barrel attachment in the shroud comb, it's very important that you have the liner seated all the way in, because if it's not seated all the way in, then you will have some velocity issues, because they're basically... Uh, where the transfer port lines up, there's going to be a gap in between where the pellet can go in, fall before it goes into the liner, and that's going to cause it to be damaged, or else it's going to cause just a, a major air pocket right there to where it's not going to shoot straight or fast. All right, so here's the end of the barrel right here. This is the shroud cone, the barrel attachment, and the barrel uh, inlet. We're not going to take this apart because it's pretty simple, it's pretty self explanatory. This is threaded onto that, and then this is threaded onto that. Uh, this is just the same section that's on a Smooth Twist X barrel. Uh, this is the only piece that's different right here. Normally uh, the barrel housing is threaded onto the barrel attachment, but instead the shroud cone is threaded onto the barrel attachment for a super light barrel system. All right, now that we've gone over the barrel, now we can put it all back together. Okay, so I have the liner here, and the barrel uh, beginning back into the vise. So we can just slide this on in. Make sure that's nice and tight in there. And then just thread this on. It's going to thread most of the way by finger, and then it's going to get tight because that O-ring tension. And then once again, you're going to grab your 15 millimeter. and tighten it up. Okay, so now we have the liner reinserted into the barrel. Now we can add our liner spacers back on there, or liner supports. 
And that simply just goes on here. If you want them exactly where you had them before, you can take a Sharpie and mark the barrel. Um, for me, I kind of know exactly where they go as far as the spacing. Remember there is no muzzle in, there's no nothing connecting this end of the liner to anything else in the barrel. So it's always better to shift the spacers or supports farther towards the end, like so. Because that way there's support back here, uh, so this might as well be an imaginary support. And then you've got supports evenly spaced out throughout. All right, so now it's time to go ahead and install the shroud back to the barrel. So simply, you just take it from the front here, you just get it over the o-ring, and we'll see once you get one lined up it slides on real easy. You just get to the end here, and just threads right on. A quick note, you might notice that there's a small hole here in the shroud. That is a vent hole so that any excess air that's built up in the shroud can exit out of right there since there's no proper air stripper here. You don't want to cause any turbulence here in the rear. So there's a small vent hole right here that'll bleed the air out of the shroud per shot. Okay then, here's the super light barrel. If you have any questions, please leave in the comment section or else shoot me an email. And See you next time, and happy shooting.